Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for Shal Om Yoga today. My name is Reina. This week's Parsha, Hashem tells Moses that the Jewish people or the Israelites, they need to follow these special holidays. And God explains to Moses and the Israelites exactly how to celebrate Shabbat and Passover and Yom Kippur and Sukkot. And he tells the Jewish people, listen, these are the days that you must not work. This is a huge, huge, huge commandment. And th this is a, a contract that Hashem made with Moses. And he said, this is the sacred time you need to dedicate in your life to your soul and to me, God. And he's saying, God is saying, you need to set aside a special time for Shabbat, for rest, for family, for self-reflection, and just to be here, to stop and reflect and see all of the blessings that you've created throughout your week. See all of the growth that you've had from one year to the next year. This was specifically told to Moses and to tell the priests that we need to rest. There's something called a busy trap in which we get addicted to being busy. We don't know how to slow down. We feel anxious and guilty when we're not being productive. So let this yoga practice be the start of your Shabbat, of your rest, and remembering that when the Israelites were, were slaves in Egypt, they were so, so busy. They worked every day. They did not even have time to take a deep breath. One day, God said he was going to take them out of slavery when we had Passover. He gave them the Torah and he commanded them to observe Shabbat to ensure they would never be slaves to their work again. So you can see this slavery as your work. You can see it as pain in your body physically. You can see it as just being stuck in the physical being and not coming into your consciousness. So now we are gonna celebrate our freedom by taking a deep breath. So starting in a comfortable seat, bring your shoulders back, maybe you even lift them up to your ears to get a good stretch as you inhale and then exhale. Let them come all the way down. Start to close your eyes gently. Relax your face. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Start to soften and observe your breath. Affirm to yourself during this practice that you will not busy yourself with thinking about things that you need to do. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let go. Let go of thinking about what you were doing before. Take another deep breath in. Let go of what you need to do after this. Just be here with your breath, right here, right now. Notice how it feels. Soften the brow, soften the jaw. Breathe in through your nose, fill up through your belly first, through your chest, through your throat. Open the mouth, let it go. Take another deep breath like this. Do not be hard on yourself when thoughts appear. Just start to gently bring your awareness back onto your breath, your inhale, and your exhale.
establish a realm of quiet and peace within you. Let's take another deep breath in through our nose. Fill up through the belly, the chest, the throat, and then open the mouth to let it go slow and steadily. Let's take our hands together. Deep breath in through the nose. Close the mouth this time. Let the tongue come down from your roof of your mouth and breathe up and out through the nose. Starting this ujjayi breath, this victory breath, filtering anything coming in and out of your nose. Breathe in again. And just take a few more breaths like this, noticing how your breath feels today. And maybe you want to dedicate this practice to yourself for gratitude, for rest, for restoration. Or you want to take this amazing healing power that you're creating and dedicate it to somebody else that needs it today. Whatever brought you here, take a moment to be grateful for that. Come into your breath one more time. Notice it, feel it, let it go. Bring your hands to your heart. Spread your fingers wide. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Take another deep breath like this, and then on our next breath, I invite you to chant Om with me. And together for Om. Take another deep inhale. Let those intentions go to the universe on your exhale. And when you're ready, bring your hands down to your side. Remember to try and keep the jaw soft and the brows soft. Inhale, lift the chin up to the sky. On your exhale, drop the shoulders, drop the chin into the chest. Inhale, bring both arms all the way up to the sky and take a gentle twist over to the left side. Inhale, come twist to the other side. And you can just roll the neck around slowly one way. We're moving very slowly at our own pace. Move around the other way. One more time. And then we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. And then slowly moving around side to side. back the other way. Taking your time here, moving whatever way feels good for you. And then inhaling, reaching one arm up to the sky. Look towards your thumb. Take that stretch and then reach under the left shoulder. Reach the right palm, the right chin, the right cheek, I mean, on the mat. Take another breath here, reach down, let the head rest. And then inhale, reach back up. Exhale, reach that hand back down. Inhale, reaching the left arm up to the sky, look up towards the left thumb. Exhale, reach under the right arm, stretch through. Have the left cheek on the mat, left shoulder on the mat. Take another breath. 
Inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, bring it back down to the mat. Just put some weight on the wrists, move side to side. And then we're gonna come to a nice child's pose. So here you're bringing your knees down, your thighs over your knees, and just let the fingers crawl out until your head can come down to the mat. Maybe take your knees wide as the mat or together, whatever feels good for you. And just notice where you are here in your child's pose. Maybe you're not even coming down to where you thought you would be. It doesn't matter. Today is a start and just notice where you are right now in this moment, how it feels. Send the breath down to the hips, to that root chakra, let it go. Take another breath. Come back up to the hands and the knees. Now, bringing the hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. You're gonna inhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the chest to the sky. Exhale, round the back, let the head hang. Inhale, arch the back, lift the chin, lift the chest. Feel that stretch, exhale, round. Inhale, reach the chin up, exhale, round. All right, so your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. We're gonna start stretching out those legs. So bring one leg back, stay on the top of your foot, stretch out the ankle, stretch out the back of that calf and the back of your thigh. Take another breath here. Inhale, let it go. Bring that knee back, stretch the other leg. Inhale, lift the chest as you're doing it. Exhale, bring that knee back in. So we're gonna go into our sound salutations. You might wanna stay here on your hands and knees, and that's cool. If not, you might wanna come forward to your plank. You can come on, do it on your knees, a half plank, and then bend the elbows lower, knees, chest, chin down, Inhale, look up to the sky, and you can come back on your knees, and then you can take one leg back as you inhale, and exhale, bring it through to your hands. If you want more of a challenge, this is where we're gonna get into our downward dog. So if this feels good for you, stay on your knees while we're here. If not, you wanna push up to your downward dog. Your heels are lifted. You're using the finger pads to dig into the mat and push the weight away from your hands. If you're not sure if you're in proper alignment, you're gonna move forward to your plank as you inhale. And then exhale, push back to dog. So stay here for five breaths as you pedal out the legs. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, push forward to a plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest, the chin down, and inhale, push forward as you look up to the sky. Exhale, tuck the toes, push back to your downward dog. And inhale, walk the feet all the way up to the hands. Exhale, forward, fold down. Inhale, hands to the shins, look forward. Exhale, forward fold down. Now, as slowly as you can, you're gonna come all the way up to standing in mountain pose. Dig your feet into the mat and slowly let your arms rise up above your head. Inhale, look back, take a slight back bend. Exhale, bend the knees, come all the way down. Plant the hands in front of the feet. Inhale, takes the right foot back to your downward dog. And exhale, brings your left foot back to your downward dog. You can also be on your hands and knees, don't forget. Inhale, float forward to plank. Exhale, bend the knees, lower knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, lift through the chin, lift through the chest for your cobra. Feel that back bend, open the heart. 
And then tuck the toes, push back up to your downward dog. Inhale, takes the right foot up, and exhale to a low lunge, your right foot between your hands. Inhale, look forward, take the left foot to meet the right. Exhale, float down, forward fold. Mountain as you inhale, all the way up to the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Left leg back on your inhale, downward dog, exhale. Plank, inhale, chaturanga, or all the way down to the mat on your exhale. Cobra, inhale, down dog as you exhale. Left leg to the sky on your next inhale, and exhale, low lunge, or bringing that left foot in between the legs, the hands. Inhale, right foot up to the left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way back up to mountain pose. Reach up and back. Exhale, forward fold back down. And right foot to the back of your mat as you inhale. Left foot, downward dog as you exhale. Plank as you inhale. And exhale, you lower down whatever way you like on top of toes. Cobra as you inhale, downward dog as you exhale. Inhale, right foot to the sky. Exhale, brings it through to the hands. Inhale, left foot meets right, and exhale, forward fold. Mountain pose on your inhale, all the way up. And forward fold on your exhale, down. Left leg back on your next inhale, and downward dog on your exhale. Plank as you inhale and lower down as you exhale. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, lifting up to cobra or and down dog as you exhale. Left leg up to the sky on your inhale and low lunge steps it through on your exhale. Inhale, right foot meets left. Forward fold, exhale. And inhale up to mountain. And exhale, fold it back down. Last time on the left side. Inhale, left comes back. And exhale to dog. Inhale to plank. Lower down on your exhale. And cobra on your inhale. Exhale to dog. And inhale, left foot up to the sky. And exhale, bring it through to the hands. Inhale, right meets left. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up slow and steadily to mountain pose. And exhale to chair pose. Make sure you can see those big toes as you bend the knees. Hands can be up or out to your side. Sink down a little bit more. Take another breath. Sink down. One more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, take the right foot back, and exhale, take the left foot back. Let's take three breaths here in our downward dog. Push the mat, push the weight away from you. On your next inhale, take the right foot up to the sky, and exhale, bring it through to the hands. We're gonna come into our warrior two pose. So the left foot is parallel with the mat, and the right foot is pointing to the top of your mat. And then as you get your foundation, your balls of your feet, the heels of your feet are rooted strong. Your front knee is bent. And then you're gonna bring the arms out to the side. Reach through the fingertips. Bring the shoulders up, feel it through your core, and look through to the right middle finger. Take a big breath here, bend into the right knee again. A little bit more, stretch forward, stretch back. On your next inhale, flip the right palm. Bring it up and back, reach the left hand down the left leg. Take another stretch here, and then back to your warrior two, bending into that front leg. Inhale, reach that right palm up again. 
and then exhale, cartwheel both arms down. We're coming through to our vinyasa. So you're gonna point the left foot forward, reach that right foot back to your downward dog, and on your inhale, come forward to your plank again. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, or all the way down. Inhale, lift through to cobra, and exhale, push back to dog. And of course, any, all this is optional. You can stay in dog. You can go to child's pose. You don't have to do any of this. You can just sit and breathe. On your next inhale, take your left leg to the sky, and exhale, opens to your warrior two on the left side. So the right foot is parallel with the mat, the front leg, the left leg is bent at a 90 degree angle. Both hips are pointing out to this side. So be very careful with this here. The hips try to go towards the front of your mat. As you inhale, open up the arms, look straight towards the left middle finger here. Take a deep breath in, reach back, reach forward. Inhale, flip the left palm, bring it up and back, reach the right palm down. Take a deep breath. Exhale, opens it back to your warrior two. Stretch a little bit more. Open the hips, bend into that front leg. Inhale, flip the left palm, bring it up again. And then exhale, cartwheel both arms back down to the mat. Flip your back foot forward and flow through your vinyasa. Inhale to plank, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift through the cobra, and exhale, push back to your dog. So we're gonna add on to that a little bit. Inhale, reach the right foot up to the sky. Exhale, opens up your warrior again. Inhale. This time we're gonna flip the right palm up to the sky for peaceful warrior once again. And then on your exhale, bring that right elbow down to the right knee for an extended side angle. Reach at the left palm up to the sky over the left ear. Reach forward. Look up towards the left thumb if you can. Feel that stretch from the left hip all the way up towards that left pinky. Take another breath here and then open that warrior back up. Feel that stretch from the back to the front. Reach forward, reach back, inhale. Let it go. Inhale again, flip the right palm, bring it up and back, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel both arms down. Flip the back leg, inhale to downward dog, and, and then float forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, look to the sky, look up. Exhale, back to your dog. Same on the left. Inhale, reach the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through to the hands. Open up your warrior two on the left side. Hips out to the side. Stretch through the fingertips. Inhale, reach forward, reach back. Exhale, flip the left palm. Inhale, reach it up and back. Right arm down the left leg. Take another breath here, reach back. And then on your exhale, bring the left elbow to the left knee. Inhale, reaches the right palm up to the sky. Take a breath here, feel that stretch from the right hip all the way up to the right pinky. Maybe you reach it over your right ear. Take another breath here. And then inhale, opens up your warrior two again. Adjust the hips, look through to the left middle finger. Inhale, flip the left palm, bring it back to your peaceful warrior. And then exhale, cartwheels both hands down, flip the right foot forward. Take a deep breath to your dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, all the way down. Inhale, flip and lift. Exhale, back to dog. All right, we're gonna add one more thing onto this. Inhale, take the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring it through to the hands. Open up your warrior. Reach forward, reach back, dig into that right knee. Inhale, flip the right palm, bring it up to the sky. Take your peaceful warrior. Good job. Exhale, bring it down to your extended side angle, right elbow to right knee, reaches the left arm up and over. Take three breaths here. On your next inhale, reach it back to your warrior two. Good job, everybody. Inhale, flip the right palm, bring it up and back. And then parallel, parallel the right leg. Reach up into our big rainbow warrior. We're big X now. So inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, take a wide leg forward fold. So the head is coming down, the hands can be between the legs. Fold here. Inhale, then walk the hands over to the left leg. Back to the center, and then walk the legs, the hands over to the right leg. You can take your time here and hang as long as you want. But we're gonna do it on the other side too. So inhale, come all the way back up to your rainbow warrior. And then inhale, point the right foot forward back to your warrior two, open it up, make sure the hips are open to this side, take another breath, and then flip the right palm, bring it up and back. Cartwheel both hands down, flip the back foot forward, and flow through your vinyasa, or just stay in dog or child's pose. Inhale to plank, exhale, lowers down. Inhale, lift, exhale, push back to dog. All right, left side, inhale, left foot up to the sky. Exhale, bring it through and open up your warrior two on the left. Reach back, reach forward, bend into that front leg, open up the hips, and then inhale, flips the left palm up. And exhale, come down to your extended side angle on the left side. Look up towards the right thumb or bring it right over your head. Take another breath here. And then inhale, we're gonna bring both arms up parallel, both legs. Reach up to the sky, exhale, forward fold, wide leg in. Hang down. And then walk the hands over to the right side. Back to the center, walk the hands over to the left side. And then point that left foot forward. Come back up into your warrior two, bending into that left knee. Reach forward, reach back, check the hips. Spread the fingertips, inhale, flip the left palm, bring it up and back. And then exhale, cartwheel both arms down, flip the back foot forward. Come back to your dog, inhale forward to plank. Exhale, lower, knees, chest, chin are all the way down. Inhale, look up to the sky. Exhale, come back to your child's pose. <coughs> either knees together or knees far as wide as the mat, reach their hands down. Reach the head down, take a breath. Send this breath back to the root of your spine, your root chakra. And notice how this breath feels, how this child's pose feels now compared to at the beginning of the class. Take another breath here. Right. On your next inhale, we're just gonna come back up to downward dog one more time, or if you're on your knees, one more time on your hands and knees. All right, inhale, take a big breath in, exhale, let it go. And then inhale, bring the right leg up to the sky, exhale, bring that right hand, foot outside of your right hand for a lizard pose. So you can stay here, you could drop the left knee down, untuck the left toes. Take this inhale, one, Two, three. Tuck the left toes, come bring that right leg back up. Feel that stretch one more time. And then inhale, bring that right foot inside of the hands. Drop the left knee down, untuck the left toes. And we're gonna take a crescent moon, little back bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop it back down. Tuck the toes, you can flow through your vinyasa or just stay in downward dog. Whatever feels good for you. And then exhale, back to dog. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, lizard pose, left foot outside of the left hand. Three breaths. All right, on your next inhale, bring it back up to the sky. Exhale, drop it through to the center. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, look up. Exhale, drop it back down. Tuck the right toes, flow through your vinyasa, or stay in your dog. Take a child's pose, three more breaths. And then we're gonna come on to our back. So for this 
You're gonna lay all the way down onto your mat, and we're gonna take a reclining mountain pose. So your feet are extended, your arms are extended above your head. So inhale, stretch out the feet, stretch out the fingers. Exhale, relax, one more time. Inhale, stretch out. All right, so stretch it into the chest, and then bring your hands outside of the foot. If you can, bring it up to the sky. Take three breaths here. And then bring it back down. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So inhale, bring that left knee to the chest, the right leg is down. And then stretch it out to the sky. You can do a figure four here if you'd like. So you can take that left leg across the right and then bring the right leg up to the sky, hands behind the right knee, and then flex point that right foot, but try to bring those legs in towards the chest for this forward folding. Take another deep breath here. And then you're gonna return that right leg down to the mat. Bring the left knee all the way across the body. So you're still in that figure four pose for a supine twist. Look over towards your left shoulder. Take another breath here. Just feel the effects of your practice right now. And then come back into your center. Take the right knee leg over the left. And you can take your figure four pose, bring it in the left leg to the sky and bring the legs both into the chest for that forward fold. And then bring the left leg back down and reach that right knee all the way across to the left side for the supine twist on the right side and look over towards that right shoulder. back into the center. If there's any other poses you might like to take before we take our Shavasana, you may. Maybe you want to switch the legs back and forth or roll up and down, whatever feels good for you. But whenever you're ready, you can bring your legs out to take up as much space as you like. Your hands up to the sky. Draw your shoulders down into the earth. Lift the chin. Take a deep breath in and start to bring your awareness again to your breath, away from your body. Take this time to just feel the effects of your yoga practice and how clear your mind is. Come back into your breath. Start to imagine beautiful light filling up all around you. Let go of any tension in your brow, any tension in your jaw. Notice where you're holding your breath and where it's flowing. Recognizing that people don't always make time for rest in their busy lives, traditional Judaism does not leave it to whim or chance. It is more than a good idea or a friendly suggestion. Shabbat is a commandment from God. Do not do any work 
you and your sons and your daughters and your servants and your animals and the stranger who is in your gates. Not only do we learn that resting is not a waste of time or indulgent, it is holy. Hashem blesses the seventh day and makes it holy because it is he who rests from all of his work. When we learn about Shabbat, we learn that this is the first time we hear the word holy used in the Torah. In a world that worships and glorifies work, Shabbat teaches us the blessed sanctity and holiness of rest. Take another deep breath in. Just be here with your body and your soul right now. Thanking it for bringing you here. How amazing your body is for letting you move through life with health, grace, peace, and love. And whenever you're ready, bring your awareness back into your body, the physical being. You can slowly roll over to your right side and come back up to a seated position. Bring your hands together into your chest, thumbs to your heart, take a deep breath in with me. Let it go out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in. Let it go. One more. And join me for all. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope that you are always protected with peace, surrounded with love, and guided by the light. Namaste.